Scotts for a fresh Piaggio 8870, Bravo Sand 3180 for 14,000. Welcome to this update on the leading edge of aerospace. I'm Craig Edder of AerospaceNews.com. Boeing flew their new 737 MAX for the first time on a rainy but much anticipated day. This airplane is all about cost savings through increased fuel efficiency, but the airplane will also offer increased range over the older 737 Next Generation line. The most obvious detail for the 737 is the new advanced technology winglets. They are divergent at the wingtip, which means they go both up and down. They also incorporate something called natural laminar flow. Boeing claims the 737 MAX 8 model will offer an 8% improvement on the per seat costs over its competitive rival at Airbus, the A320neo, along with an unspecified savings in cheese consumption. Offsetting those gains, however, are an increased cost for both country music and hamburger. Engineers sometimes find inspiration in nature. I think I know where the Boeing team was looking when they came up with this design. It was either Vulcan, or Middle Earth. Huh? Pretty obvious now, isn't it? In other Boeing digestive news, the new 767-derived KC-46 Pegasus tanker has passed gas. For the first time, in flight, to another aircraft. Apparently it was an F-16. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Share it with your friends and especially your enemies. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, leave a comment or ask a question. And be sure to check out some of the other videos on our channel. If you'd like to support our productions, please head over to our other company website. There'll be a link in the description below and download some really cool aviation and military pictures and videos including our exclusive hour-long documentary on the history of the V-22 Osprey. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.